everyone, today I'm going to talk with you about what to expect at your first therapy appointment. So like I said, today I want to talk with you about what to expect at your first therapy appointment. I know I did this video, not exactly the same as this, but kind of, and I'm embarrassed by it. I'm so awkward. So I thought, I have a great idea. I'm going to do it again. So for those of you out there who I have probably commented and said, you know, my best advice is for you to reach out to a therapist in your area. And you think, I can't, I'm so scared. I don't know what they're like. What is it going to be like? And there are all these questions, which makes sense. It's very scary. It can be very overwhelming. We don't know what to expect. So I've made notes. I'm going to tell you what to expect. Obviously every therapist is a little bit different. However, these are things that you can expect when making an appointment. First of all, nine times out of 10, you'll call us and you leave us a message because we're usually seeing clients and we don't pick up our phone all the time. So we'll get back to you, which for those of you who get scared to make phone to phone contact immediately, know that that's not very likely to happen. So you leave us a message, you make an appointment and we tell you usually to come about 10 minutes early because there's paperwork to fill out things like your name, your address, your insurance, if they accept it, what are you coming in for? How are you on any medications? When did you last see your doctor? Just like the basic stuff, honestly, that you get at any kind of doctor's office appointment, any of that. That's what we do. You get a 50 minute hour. I know a lot of people don't know that, that in order for us to see our clients, we have to give ourselves like a 10 minute window of maybe we'll run over. Maybe I should probably take some notes about this. And then the next client comes in. So it's 50 minutes for a session. And we usually ask you what brought you in today? What are some things that you're struggling with? Have you been in therapy before? Tell me about your work or your school or your family or all of those things, depending on how much you're willing to talk. We'll keep asking questions, kind of just getting to know you. And some therapists take notes on a pad of paper that kind of looks like this while they're talking to you. Others don't. I don't really take notes, although I will have a pad of paper on my lap in case something comes up. And I always tell people, you're will I can always share with you what I'm writing, but nobody really ever asked that because I don't think people really want to know what you're writing, but it doesn't matter. You can ask. That's okay. And then we're like, bye bye. Would you like to make an appointment for next week? Because we usually see you weekly. So that's something to expect it well as well. And you have to pay when you're there. Maybe that sounds crazy, but it's just like anything. If you would get a coffee, you're not like, Hey, I'll catch you next month. You pay when you leave. And so, That'll either be your copay if they take insurance, it'll be through Square, a check, cash. So make sure that you know how they accept payment. Ask them before you make your appointment so that you're prepared for that as well. And if you need to ask for a sliding scale, do that before you come into session two so that we're prepared. And I think that's it. And I have a note all in bold so I don't forget and I highlight it because I love highlighters. And it says, it's never as scary as you think. And that is the truth because Therapists are people too. You may not necessarily like them, love them, want to see them every week. You may want to try another one out, but they're usually friendly. They're there to help. So if you're considering it, please call this week. That's my challenge. Challenge. Call. See, leave a, leave a message. They'll get back to you. Make your appointment. Cause I promise we're, we're friendly. We're nice. And we're here to help you and know that you have the right to see somebody else and not see them again. You're not obligated in any way to make another appointment. You're basically interviewing them the same time that they're interviewing you to know more about you. You want to make sure that you have that click with them that I've talked about in previous videos and how important that is because statistically we know it doesn't matter how invested you are in therapy or how good your therapist is. It's actually the relationship that is the best indicator of how well you'll do. So make sure you have that, make sure you like them and make sure you feel that click. I hope you liked it. I know this video is like, you know, kind of simple, but some of us get scared and we don't know what to expect. And so if any of you have made appointments, you've seen therapists, you're seeing a therapist, let us know below because it's not just me saying it. Then it's our community sharing our information. And if you like these simple, what to expect videos, give it a thumbs up and you can find me on the interwebs wherever you're at. I am there too. And see you next time. Uh, sometimes, and some therapists and researchers believe that it can be more damaging than actual physical abuse because it can undermine what we really think about ourselves, how we feel about ourselves.